but waiting. We had uh, a lot of alums visiting, and it was just awesome seeing everybody. So it was just so exciting to see Jane and JJ and Azella, people I haven't seen for years. Ashley Simino, so it was just, but. Um, yeah, so we're here with Coach Vanger, obviously, um, and <laughs> Ashton and Lexi. Uh, Coach Vanger earned her 500th career regular season Pac-12 win tonight. Oh, wow. Um, so we'll open with the coach week, uh, opening statements. I'm sorry. All right, well, uh, every game is uh, really a challenge in the Pac-12, uh, and we knew going into the game that, um, you know, Cal has a lot of weapons, um, and I, I'm really proud of our team. I thought um, I thought Lexi played really well defensively. She just, uh, you know, she was locked in. And then uh, uh, Ashton came off the bench for us and did a great job in the first half and just, uh, you know, and played really well in the second half too. Didn't play as much in the second half, but um, you know, just uh, shot the ball well. Six for seven was rebounding. Um, so, you know, I thought really got us going. Um, it was a total team effort and. You know, we know we're going to have to play better on Sunday. Uh, I thought we did some really good things, and there's some things that we can look at and, and even do a better job. But um, you know, I'm really proud of our team, how hard we played. And we had a lot of people in there, uh, you know, basically almost double minutes for uh, 10, 10 people, almost 11 people. And we're, uh, we're, we're trying to play tag team, and I thought we did. Her, how impressed are you with the defense? You almost shut them out one quarter and scored three points. Uh, well, I, I wasn't complaining about that too much at halftime. Um, you know, I think that, uh, you know, I thought we did a, not only that, we did a really good job of taking care of the ball. Um, you know, um, what, you know, we didn't, we didn't do a good enough job in the fourth quarter, um, you know, in terms of taking care of the ball or, or defensively. But um, the first three quarters, we did a really nice job. And that's credit to Cal. They don't give up. They kept playing hard. But um, our, our defense was locked in, and, it, and it, a lot of it was, uh, I think, uh, what Lexi did, Lacey, um, you know, Kiana, um, and, you know, they made a great effort. And, you know, so we're, we're going to have to do that again. We're going to have to do that every game. Her, I'm sure you've coached against uh, a lot of your former players. A lot of coaches don't like that. They don't enjoy it. It's just awkward for them. I'm wondering, do you have a problem with it? Do you like it, or is it tough? And you know, like once the game gets going, you, you don't even know who's down there sitting on that bench. Um, you know, you're just you're just about your team. Um, I think that the main thing is, um, you know, when we're not playing Cal, um, I'm rooting for Charmin, and I think she's doing an excellent job. Um, but uh, I know it. I mean, it's I'm, I'm happy to see uh, former players in coaching and having them do well. Um, I, it, it, you know, it, it is fun to share something like that with them because they were such a big part of, you know, I mean, championships. Um, and I think that, uh, but this, I'm about this team. You know, I'm about this team and, you know, how hard they're working and how much they're improving and just the fact they're listening and trying to do what we're asking them to do. And, um, you know, and I think that, uh, I think we can play better. For sure, it's, it's, moments. it's it's incredible just to play with her every day. Um, she has so much wisdom that she shares, even off of like outside of basketball. I mean, she she knows so much. So to be able to learn from her every day is insane. So Ashton, your first uh, battle of the bay. So how did how do you feel? Uh, I mean, I thought that we came out and played well this first game, but obviously we have another one on Sunday, so we just have to come out like with the same intensity. Um, and I mean, I've heard a lot that the second games. Like even different, so um, we just have to be ready. Ashton, with your the link that, that you ladies have to, to all your shots to get mm -hmm. in passing lanes and, and defensively just cause some havoc. How much does that did that establish and and keep them from getting any kind of rhythm offensively? I think it definitely helped us out, like getting deflections and stuff, and like getting steals. Um, I mean, just like going after the loose balls and stuff. We did well. Her, um, hi. Hi, Elliot. Um, is, uh, is, is this your team now? I mean, uh, is Dijonay and Maya, are, are we going to see them this season? 
season, or is this what you have? Well, um, we're hoping that we will see them this season. Uh, I think they're working really hard on um, just getting healthy. But, um, you know, we're not, no one's going to play that's not healthy, and uh, nor should they. Uh, but we're hoping that all three of our injured players will be coming back and they're working, uh, every, doing everything they can to get back. So um, we're hopeful. But in the meantime, you know, the train ain't waiting at the station. It's going down the tracks. And I think the young ladies that are playing out there are doing a, a really good job. I thought Haley played really well today, too. You know, so uh, we're getting a lot of contributions from a lot of different people. And then there's things that I think we can do better. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just used to looking at it, so it doesn't not, doesn't really get my attention much. But um, I loved how hard Lexi worked on uh, playing defense. You know, um, I, I loved how hard she played, and uh, just I, I think it's contagious. Uh, and I, I loved how Ashton came in the game and did what we've been asking her to do, and and posted some great numbers. You know, she rebounded. Uh, you know, for us to out rebound them. Uh, 50 to 29 uh, is uh, really important for us. Uh, and then in the first half, taking care of the ball, we have a turnover goal not to have more than 12. We made our goal, um, but we were even doing better in the first half. Um, to have everyone play, I think, is really important, um, you know, just to get experience out there. Um, but, you know, again, it's kind of, it, it feels like it's a halftime because we've got them again. You know, we've got to turn around. And so in some, in some ways, this is like a halftime talk. So we can't get too excited. We've got to, be ready to go on Sunday. Did you get the results? Sorry. Did you get the results out of Arizona with the Oregon schools? No. What What happened with their or Oregon, uh, Arizona State won, and um, oh, I'm sorry. And then Pitt, Oregon State squeaked by by two. Okay. I mean, you guys, that's the way it's going to be. I mean, every. I mean, I'm not looking forward to that trip. You know. I mean, every game is a tough, tough place to play. Every team is a tough team to play. Um, you know, so you know we've just got to we've got to keep working on good habits. But I think if you play defense, you can be in any game. So if we continue to play the type of defense that we did in this game and and box out and rebound like that, you can be in any game. And just as a quick follow, when you said you're not looking forward to that trip, did you mean to Arizona or to Oregon? Oh, I I, I meant to Arizona. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean it's like every every play every team is a tough team to play. So, um, you know, there's there's no uh, there there are no just you know, you can't just check off a W. You've got to, you've got to go. Th you know, you can't go through motions. You've got to play. You got to work really hard. Um, so I don't, I don't think I think anyone's capable of beating anybody in this league. Even uh, nationally, um, five top ten teams went down and got lumped into the unranked teams. Yeah. teams. Is that your? I don't really pay attention to that. I just I'm watching our team and focused on what our team is doing. And you know, I just. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I want that layup that Lexi got in the very first play of the game. You know, what a, what a heads up play, you know? Um, you know, just, uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm really proud of how Ashton has really stepped up for us. Our freshmen are just, uh, they're doing really, really well. So we just want to continue to grow and stay healthy. How much did Lexi just the balance really take pressure on Tiana on a night when her first shot wasn't yeah. falling quite the way it usually does? Um, you know, Nadia was, you know, I mean, this is what I tell our team is that, you know, every night it's kind of like a different solo, but everybody's got to, you know, play in the band. You know, you got to bring your instrument and play hard. So, did you have a question? Or? No, thank you, Tara. I was just going to ask you, you kind of touched on it, but you guys out rebounded them 50 to 29. And going into the game, I think they had a plus 8.8 .8 rebounding margin against yeah. Utah. You guys had a plus 8.6. I mean, it was almost dead even. What accounted for your guys' dominance? On well, that I think that our team, um, I think really our team, um, we try to give them specific things to focus on, and I think rebounding was a big focus. I might have said it a couple times, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like over and over and over, like rebound, 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 rebound. So um, I think, you know, at, at some point, um, you know, we locked in, and, you know, I thought we did, you know, we did a good job. I mean, keeping them, they had eight O boards. Um, you know, that was, that was good for us. Now, again, we've got to just turn around and do it again. We can't be... I'm happy with what we did today. We've got improved. So, Coach, you mentioned your freshmen. Would this this quartet be the most ready to play freshman that you've had as a group? Um, I think uh, I think that might be true. Um, and part of the reason they're ready to play is because the upperclassmen helped them so much. Um, 
whether it's Lexi, whether it's Lacey, whether it's Nadia or Alyssa, Kiana, Dijanae, they're, they're extremely uh, you know, supportive of young freshmen. A lot of times freshmen might come in and get a lot of attention and the upperclassmen uh, you know, resent that and that's not true. And you know, I think they're really, everyone's happy for Ashton to have a great game or happy for Haley or you know, they know that them playing well helps everyone get what they want. If you come to our practice, our practice is a battle for three hours. So, I mean, I think that really helps. Um, we practice, I mean, four day, five days a week, and every single day is very competitive. And I think that really helps in the games because then, I mean, you're used to playing that for three hours, and now you have to play for an hour and a half. So, and then that's all I can think of. <laughs> all right, thank you. Hope to see people on Sunday, see you on Sunday. with the same outcome. <laughs>